What's up guys, on today's how-to we're going to be changing the spark plugs on our shop STI. Um, it's not an exactly easy job because the engine is a horizontal engine which means you're going to be dealing with the frame rails and the engine bay honestly is quite a bit packed. Um, hopefully I'll show you a few trips, tricks to uh, ease the pain um, but overall it's not a fun job because of where they reside. Um, to start, we're going to basically remove this pipe so that we can actually have access to the driver's side coils. Um, luckily on our car, the passenger side is pretty open, so we'll just be working around these tubes and the wires. Um, let's get to it. It's a little difficult to see, but basically right here, there's a coil pack, there's one back here. They are held on by 10 millimeter bolts. And on the other side, we have the same thing. There's another coil pack, and then there's one for the rearward. Basically, we're gonna reach this guy down in there and remove that bolt real quick so that we can pull the spark, or the ignition coils off the engine. Um, I can't really show you while I'm doing it because there's just not enough room, but you can watch me struggle. All right, so we got the two 12 millimeter bolts out of the coil packs. Now the coil packs if I can get a better view of it for you guys. So that's one coil pack and that's the rear one back there. And the bolts are out, so basically you can just slide it out. Uh, I left the connectors on. You can take the connectors off, but I'd recommend leaving them on um, and just snake them out. flopped them over and then we'll be able to remove the spark plugs. I use a three millimeter extension, a wobbly socket, and then uh, this is five eighths inch um, spark plug socket. So we'll just grab that along with the ratchet and then kind of snake it in and we'll be able to remove the spark plugs. So we got the two spark plugs out on the other side. So now we're working on the driver's side, which is a little bit more difficult. I've already got the 12 millimeter bolts out of the coils. Um, and now I am pulling the coils out of the head. Now what I have found is that the front cylinder, it comes out pretty easily, but the rear one can be a pain. It does not just pop out. What I found is if you pull it out, you twist it 180, it will come out. So basically flip the entire unit over and then pull it out and it should come out. Okay, so I pulled it out right there and now I'm gonna flip it 180. like I'm flipping it counterclockwise and then it comes out. Otherwise, it will not come out and I fought with that for a while. So that's a big uh, tip there. Otherwise, you're gonna be like trying to jack up the engine to try and get it out or something of that nature. Counterclockwise, 180 degrees and it'll come out. All 
All right, so now we can remove the spark plugs on this side. Same ordeal, you'll snake that in there with a, a ratchet and we will then pull it out, pull those spark plugs out and then we can replace them. So we ended up getting the four spark plugs out. They all look roughly the same. Uh, I am assuming at this point these are actually the OEM plugs. So I'm glad we're changing them. They are probably used up and ready for some new ones. So we're putting in some NGK iridiums as well. Uh, OEM units. Let's get to it. Something that I do before I install them, I go over to a wire wheel real quick and I clean up that electrode real quick. Um, it basically just removes off that oxide layer and ensures that there's a good connection between this and the um, coil. And then I will also use a little bit of dielectric grease. Something to add, if you are doing a compression test, this is when you would want to test it. Granted, you're supposed to be actually having the engine at operating temperature, and you're probably going to burn yourself, which I did when I compression test this engine. But you're supposed to do it when it's warm, and this is when you do it. You would then get into the fuse box, remove the ignition um, fuse so that you're not pumping in fuel as you do it. Hold the car wide open throttle, and then generally speaking, people wait for five full pulses and that's your compression test. This car tested out at 145 for all four cylinders, so the engine is healthy, <clears throat> but this is when you would do it, and again, the engine should be warm or hot, and then that makes this entire job a lot more painful because you are burning yourself as you try and get into where the spark plugs live. So we're gonna actually put the spark plugs back in. Uh, we already did the compression test, and then, uh, see if that resolves some of our misfiring issues. As far as quick little comparison with the old and the new, let's see if I can get this on video. You can see quite clearly that the electrode and the ground strap are worn on the old one. So I'm actually really hopeful that this does solve some of the uh, high load misfires that we're seeing on the car. Um, reinstall is basically the same as uninstall in reverse order. So we'll just basically put these in. Um, looking at about 14 to 16 foot pounds, give or take on the spark plugs. That's a good general rule of thumb for aluminum on M or 5.8 spark plugs. So we're gonna get that done and then um, We'll get back with it. All right, guys, that concludes uh, spark plug change. Hopefully, you guys, uh, if you did a compression test, found out that your engine's good. And hopefully, the overall install and replacement of spark plugs aren't as scary as they were before. Um, that one trick for that back cylinder on the driver's side definitely would have saved me 45 minutes because I fought um, trying to get it out for a long time. That being said, overall the whole install took me about an hour um, without the, the fighting of that back cylinder. Um, if you have an issue with the car idling rough after you do spark plugs, make sure that you put the right coils with the right cylinder. That does matter. Um, and then obviously if you did do a compression test, put the ignition uh, fuse back in. Otherwise, the car will not run. Thanks.